Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this sushi roll inspired eyeshadow look. So if you'd like to see how I got this, I used all affordable um, makeup products, then please keep on watching. Also make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell. Um, make sure you also bookmark my page. I upload a video every single day of the week and I don't want you to miss any. So let's get into this really pretty, bold, smoky, colorful, sushi inspired makeup look. Okay guys, let's just go ahead and get started with this look. Um, I've already primed my eyes with the Kat Von D Locky Concealer in Whiteout. And I'm going to start with a nice transition shade from my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry eyeshadow palette. So hard to get into, but really, really nice array of 42 shades. And so I'm just going to be picking up a little blending brush and getting started with this. So guys, I do apologize. I was planning on doing a different look, but um, I'm waiting for my new... Um, SD card to come in the mail because I actually do have an actual actual camera. I just want it with the shade and uh, So I'm just waiting to get that so I can actually start using That camera instead of my cell phone because I'm sure you guys have been noticing. I've been having some glitches So I do apologize. That's why I'm also like looking off in this direction because I have a mirror set up so I can see if it's still recording or if it's looking glitchy, but um, I'll be using my, my new camera um, once I get an SD card. So, but guys, I don't know about you, but I love, um, I love sushi. So I, since I couldn't do my full face of drugstore um, makeup for back to school, just thought we'd do a fun, pretty eye look instead. Okay guys, so. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Lola Cosmetics Duo, and this is in Wine Wasabi. Guys, look at that green. So, so pretty. So I'm just going to be picking up a smaller brush, and I'm just going to be dipping into that, and that's just going to start going into my crease. But, And I am going to be doing a mild cut crease. It's not, I'm not super, super into cut creases. I mean, I like them. I like dramatic makeup, but it can sometimes be a little much, but I will be doing a cut crease today. I'm just building up that wasabi shade. But I want to know, do you love sushi or are you one of those people that can't stand it? I think, I think when it comes to sushi, you either love it or you hate it. There's not very many people that are in between. So, okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and dip back into the Artistry palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to gently pick up just a little bit of that darker green. And I'm just going to put that into my crease a little bit just to intensify that color. I'm going to be doing the other eye off camera, and I'll be also doing my face makeup off camera. This is just a fun little eye look. Uh, I didn't set my primer. I am trying that to see how it looks. We'll see. Okay. I'm just going to dip back with that same brush. There's nothing on it. This is the shade we used for the transition shade. And I'm just gently gonna buff that out a little bit. Once again, there's no extra product, but I'm just going to go back in with that brush that we used the green. And just gently get this buffed out. Okay, so next I'm gonna go back in with my Kat Von D um, Locket Concealer in Whiteout. And this one I'm going to use to cut the crease just a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm using a e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush. And that way we can just gently cut this crease. Thank you. 
but I'm I'm definitely excited to be getting my new SD card so I can hopefully st stop getting glitchy videos because it's really really bugging me. Absolutely hate it because I upload seven days a week. So when all of a sudden this camera starts glitching, it really really throws me off my schedule and. Yeah, it's just bad. Okay guys, I am just going to be doing a half cut crease, okay? That way we can help keep the drama level down to, you know, a good, good amount. Okay. So my inspiration is kind of like the salmon roll. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this shade right here. It's like a nice, um, pretty, kind of salmon-y color. Okay, and I'm going to put that on my lid. And I'm going to detail it with a flat brush so I can get really, really close into that line. But that's pretty. Okay, I'm just going to dip onto the palette with the other side of the brush because here's the one with the white concealer and that way we can get really close to that line. I wasn't really sure how this look was going to turn out, but so far, I am liking it. Okay. But I think I am going to use some nice brown on the outer corner maybe like a nice tan to kind of go with that a uh, nice sesame seed look that's on most most sushi rolls just dipping gently back into my wasabi shade just to help blend that line a little bit Okay, so I am going ahead and using a, another brush, and I think I'm going to try out, I think this shade right here, it's a matte. I'm just gently going to put that in the outer corner. bit into that crease, not much. Okay guys, now I'm just grabbing a clean brush. This is clean, it's just a little stained, and I'm just going to start blending. I'm going to have to reinforce some of that green because I'm kind of losing it a little. So, go ahead and reinforce this green shade. Okay, and then to finish off the top portion of the eye, before I go off camera to do the other eye, my face makeup, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Smog. It's a really pretty kind of greeny brown shade. I'm going to do a wing liner. 
So this is not matte, it is a shimmer. But it's really, really pretty. There's the baseline. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna hurry up and go off camera, do the other eye, come back with my face makeup done, we'll finish off the bottom lash line and do some highlighting and some lip gloss or lipstick or something and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I obviously have my base on. Um, I also put on some lashes. I just used the Boutique um, Lashes in the Style 002. Um, and so far I'm liking it. I think it's looking really, really pretty. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off um, the lower lash line and I'm gonna be dipping into the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Artistry Palette again and I'm gonna be going in with the shade I think should we do an orangey one yeah okay I'm gonna go in with the shade right here and just gently smoke this out on the bottom lash line just to add some intensity I'll link um, all the face products, you know, everything I use down below. So hot, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. So hot. Not digging it. Okay. Okay, now guys, to finish off the eye look, besides some mascara, I'm going to dip into this pretty shimmery green shade. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner. Oof, that is pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I like that a lot. That is pretty. Okay, guys. Um, a little bit of mascara. Where's my mascara? There it is. Okay. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Magna Mascara. I'm just going to put some on my lower lash line. I already applied some before I applied eyelashes. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzing and some highlight and then we'll do the lips. Of course, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. My AOA um, F11 fan brush. A little bit of bronze touring going on. Guys, I had kind of some issues with the black lash glue. It like was a little clogged or something and it ended up like exploding. So I had to do a little bit of cleanup. But it was kind of like that rubberized eyelash glue, so I was able to let it dry and then kind of scrape it off, which is good. Okay guys, and then I think for highlighting, I think I'm gonna go in a little hard. Um, so in this BH Cosmetics Ultimate Artistry palette, there is this white duochrome. Okay, I mean, it is really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna apply that with a little bit of a brush. It's pretty. I think I'm gonna just apply a tiny bit underneath my brow bones. Just help with the transitioning. There we go. Okay. And then guys, to finish off the look, I am gonna be going in with a nude lip color, as this is really, really 
bold, bright, a little bit smoky. So I'm going to be going in with the Glossaholic by Hard Candy, and this is in Creamsicle. It's got this giant doe foot. It's cute. Really, really pretty nude gloss. So, so cute. So guys, this is the finished um, sushi roll look. And uh, should we have a should we have a little bit of sushi? I'm up for it. So let's go ahead, guys. Here is this really, really pretty, bold, different, colorful eye look based off a of sushi roll. So, mm-hmm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. Um, it's kind of a bold, colorful eye tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you guys share this video. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I like the green with the salmon and the dark brown. The lashes really, really do add to it. Really, really pretty. Um, and guys, also leave a comment down below. Do you like this? Is it too bright for you? Is it too smoky? I'm digging it. I think it's really, really pretty. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you guys also follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all, all at Budget Glam Babe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a great one, guys. Bye.